Lotus, known for its lightweight sports cars, has now entered the EV SUV fray with its Elettra. With its high performance figures, the Elettra squarely takes on the reigning champion of the segment, the Tesla Model X. In this video, I'll perform a side-by-side -side comparison of the exterior, interior, tech, performance and pricing of these two EVs and show you how Lotus has raised the bar. Lotus has been known for making lightweight sports cars. Well, with its heavy batteries, an electric SUV is anything but light. Lotus uses an aluminum frame along with carbon fiber components to reduce the weight. But that goes only so far. So in addition, Lotus introduces lightness into its Electra SUV through porosity. It allows air to travel through the vehicle. This is the same strategy that Lotus used in their hypercar, the Evaya. Bringing it into an SUV means things like front wheel vents, rear wheel vents, an active spoiler, and an active front grille. We see these features being used on a number of other EVs. But in addition to that, Lotus has also introduced vents in the hood, vents in the rear quarter window, and winglets on the roof. Lotus refers to this design as being carved by air. While Lotus has focused heavily on aerodynamics, notably, it hasn't released the drag coefficient figures. For the Model X though, we do know the drag coefficient, and that is 0.24. Tesla claims this to be the lowest drag SUV on Earth. So we'll have to wait to see when Lotus actually releases its figures if they can beat the Tesla numbers. The Model X gets features like an active spoiler and front wheel vents also. But really the aerodynamic efficiency comes from its overall shape, which is a continuous arc that goes from the A pillar to the back. Its jelly bean styling is quite beautiful. The Falcon doors add a cool factor. But the only complaint I'd have is that having seen this design on the road since 2015, the styling is beginning to look a little outdated and in much need of a restyle. The Elettra styling on the other hand is fresh and exciting. The overall muscular look gives it a strong personality and a very sexy look. The design of the front grille and LED lights keep it very much within the Lotus family, even though it's an SUV. Even the way the entire roof and glass is done in black evokes a sports car look, much like the Evaya. If you're wondering, the size of the Elettra and Model X are within a few inches of one another. Inside, the Elettra is jaw-dropping. It has a feel of richness and opulence. The sophisticated materials include a wool blend fabric and materials derived from man-made microfibers. Beautifully detailed accent materials include metals, recycled carbon fiber, wood, and embossed patterns that recall the front grille. The treatment of these materials is elegant as they fold and wrap over each other. In contrast, the Model X's interior feels sparse and minimalist. There's vegan leather available in three colors and a couple of wood decor trims. The Model X's interior can be had in five, six, or seven seater layouts, while the Lotus comes in four or five seat configurations. Where both are similar is in the way the infotainment is handled. Tesla started the trend that consolidated all the functions in a large screen, doing away with buttons. Lotus also has a horizontal format infotainment screen, but it will fold away when not in use. Both cars also get additional screens for rear seat passengers. Tesla offers a unique yoke style steering wheel. Lotus's steering wheel looks like a bit of a yoke, but more like a race-inspired steering that has four sides, not three. When it comes to technology, at the price point of these cars, you expect cutting-edge features. And sure enough, they both deliver on some common ADAS features. Notably, where they differ is in the area of self-driving. Tesla famously relies on cameras for its suite of self-driving features. The highlight of this package is the auto steer on city streets, which is in beta development. In contrast, the Elettra chooses to go with LiDAR. Not only does it make that choice, but has deployable LiDAR sensors that remain hidden until they're required. We don't know the exact capabilities of the autonomous driving, but reportedly it will offer level four in certain designated areas. 
Lotus also offers a few technologies that Tesla doesn't, like augmented reality head-up display, rear-wheel steering, and matrix light technology. So that brings us to performance. The Model X's battery is 100 kWh gross, while the Electra's is expected to be slightly above 100. We know the Model X's EPA range is 348 miles. Lotus hasn't released EPA numbers yet, but is targeting a range of 373 miles on the WLTP cycle, so expect slightly less for EPA. The Lotus has dual motors producing over 600 horsepower. This puts it directly in competition with the Model X dual motor producing 670 horsepower. When it comes to acceleration, the Electra is faster. However, there's also the Model X Plaid with three motors, producing 1,020 horsepower and 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 2.6 seconds. Lotus has mentioned that it'll be coming out with a more powerful version of the Electra, and presumably that will compete with the Plaid. While the Model X Plaid may have a leg up with performance, the Electra is more powerful when it comes to charging. The Electra's 800 volt architecture can handle a peak power of 350 kilowatts, while Tesla tops out at 250. The Tesla's network in the US is more extensive until they open it up to all EVs, that is. Both SUVs get air suspensions for a comfort ride. The Tesla can tow close to 5,000 pounds. I'm assuming the Lotus has towing capabilities, but we don't know those numbers yet. Also, we don't know the off-road capabilities of the Electra, but we do know that it has an off-road mode. Lotus has raised the bar of what a high-end luxury SUV should be. But how will it compare to the Model X with price? Well, all we know is that the Electra will be priced over £100,000, which is close to $130,000 and will qualify for the federal tax credit. The Model X in comparison is priced at $115,000, with the Plaid version starting at $139,000. Not knowing the exact price of the Lotus and its packages, it's too early to do an apples to apples comparison on value. But if you had an extra $100,000 to $150,000 lying around, which SUV would you buy? The Lotus Electra or the Tesla Model X? Let me know in the comments below. And if you would like me to compare the Electra to another SUV, let me know the name of that EV too. Please give the video a like, share your comments below, and subscribe to the driver download.